Hello friends, it is Vidushi again and welcome to FPGA Fever. Today I along with my friend Vineet will be explaining you how to interface an LCD onto FPGA Spartan 3E kit. The LCD that is embedded onto the Spartan kit is a 16 cross 2 alpha numeric LCD. 16 here refers to the number of characters that can be displayed on single line and 2 refers to the number of lines in all. Although we can see only 16 characters uh, onto the screen uh, on same time but if, you ca if we scroll our data then we, uh, we will know that in all 40 characters can be displayed in single line and since there are two lines onto the 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD we can therefore totally see 80 characters in all. The LCD interfacing involves three basic steps first being the power initialization second the configuration and the third finally the display. For your convenience we have at attached a link for the user guide of the FPGA's Spartan 3E kit and uh, let me explain you how actually the LCD is interfaced onto the FPGA. The four data bits that can be transferred onto the LCD are connected using the pins M15, P17, R16 and R15. Moreover, the three control bits that are used are LCD enable, LCD register select, LCD read write and these are connected using the pin numbers M18, L18 and L17. Also it is to be noticed that the SFCE0 pin has to be enabled so as to ensure full read, read and write capability to the LCD. The pin number that has to be enabled of the FPGA is D16. As I have told you there are basically three steps involved to interface the LCD, I will be explaining you one by one how to carry out these on your program. The first is power on initialization. Actually, the LCD register select and LCD read write pins have to be set high for at least 40 nanoseconds before they are stable. And the enable has to be high for a minimum of 230 nanoseconds. These are the steps that follow. Uh, so as to power on the LCD. We uh, send 0x3 uh, a minimum of 3 times so that 12 clock cycles uh, expire uh, a minimum of 3 times uh, so that LCD is enabled for at least 230 nanosecond before uh, further configuring the LCD. The next step is display configuration. Uh, before starting that, I will explain you the various commands that are involved in order to configure the display. These are the various commands that are involved in configuring your LCD. The first is clear display. So as to uh, clear your display, we will have to send a 0, 1 that is the 8 uh, bit data. 0, 1. Then in order to uh, set entry mode set we have to send 6. Make sure that the lower nibble first bit is set as high so that your cursor increments in the forward direction and the 0th bit is set 0 so that there is no shift. The next command is display on off. Uh, that has to be set as 0C. Uh, again, to, uh, it has to be taken care that the second bit has to be set high so that display is on. The first bit is set 0 and 0th bit is set 0 so that the cursor and the blink of the cursor is not shown onto the LCD. Finally, function set is set high by sending 28 data onto the LCD. So this completes your configuration of the display. Now the final step is to write the data. 
as i have told you the lcd ha- is a 16 cross 2 alpha numeric display you can uh, it is up to you from where you want to display or where from where you want to start the display in order to uh, set your cursor onto the top most left corner you have to send the data that is 80 and in order to start your printing onto the second line you have to send data c0 or if you want to display your data from any further position say the fifth position of the first line then the data that has to be sent will be 85 in order to print any character onto the lcd there is a predefined set of code that is predefined and uh, in order to print any character the 8 bit code has to be sent to the lcd and correspondingly the uh, the character will be displayed onto your lcd let's take an example how you can send a uh, character a onto the lcd so as i have told you that the lcd can uh, take in a number of 4 bits uh, at a time so we'll have to send the data in two nibbles first being the higher nibble so as you can see the upper nibble corresponding to character a is 0100 that is 4 and the lower nibble corresponding to a is 0001 that is 1 hence in order to display character a onto the lcd the data that you has to be sent will be 0100001 that is 41 so this is it the this is a basic uh, that will be very helpful uh, for you to understand how the actual program is going to work i'll be handling over uh, to vineet who will be explaining you the program how to interface the lcd onto the fpga kit friend this is vineet i hope you were able to understand the basics of lcd interfacing if not do not worry just download the spartan 3 user guide and go to the chapter 5 now let's begin to decode this program so here is it our program you can see the module name is top and these are the port lists which are used as a input and output in the whole program second line is parameter we have taken k as a parameter and assigned it 18 and i will tell you in the later stage why i have used in uh, this line and what is the reason using k as a 18 then here these are the input and outputs which are going to use in the program clock as a input and as vidushi has told you about providing a delay in the power initialization that's why we have taken this 16 this 26 bit count which will run and uh, provide a delay for the power initializations and this is the output sfc0 this is a strata flash uh, bit variable uh, if you high this bit it will provide a full access of the lcd and these are the four registers which going to be used in the program and main one is this this six bit lcd code which will which contains the uh, six bit data higher and lower levels for the instructions or for the uh, configuration bits and these are the output which vidushi have earlier, earlier told you this is uh, lcd uh, register select lcd read and write and these are the four datas 77654 and this one is lcd enable which which is which will use to enable the lcd this is the main part of the program in which we have defined the power on initializations configurations and display the data so here is our first statement count which is used for providing the delay so that we can initialize the lcd and there is then this one is strata strata flash variable which is high so that we can get the full access of lcd in the case statement we have used the first last six bit of count so that we can get to the power 16 variables or case statements so vidushi has told you about 
LCD, in LCD interfacing, we have three stages. First, power initialization, then configuration initialization, and last two, display data. And in power initialization, we provide, we enable the LCD and provide uh, required number of clock that we can get the power power initialization properly. Then these are the command for configuration or setting the configuration. The first step to set the function. So we have to give 28 in the function set. But why we have given these in the in the form 0, 2 or 0, 8? Let me tell you if we are giving 5th and 6th bit of the LCD code as a 0 then this means these this line representing a control instruction and if you are given 5th and 6th bit as 0 1 or 2 then it means it is a data display or we are we want to display any data so uh, here is 2 higher level of the function set and 8 as a lower level because in Spartan 3 LCD, we have only 4 bit. 4 bit means uh, we can send only 4 data at a time. But here for any instruction in our um, program, we need 8 bit. So we will going to provide first higher enable, then lower enable. So you can see 28 for function set, 06 for entry mode set, 0C for display on of control and 01 for display clear then this is our last stage of displaying the data let me take you to the user guide for displaying any data we have to provide its 8 bit code uh, for example for representing B we have to send first higher nibble as 4 0 1 0 0 then lower level as 0 0 1 0 so um, I want to print the FVGA fever fever so these are the code for printing the FVGA fever and as I have told you two for two we sent two in the fourth fifth and sixth bit for Print displaying the any character or any data on the LCD and 0 for controlling the LCD so these are the code F46 P50 and so on for printing the data on the LCD so here is our default case in which we are providing 10 in the LCD code what do you mean by 10 so I am going to the user guide you can see if we are providing 1 in the 6th and 5th bit then it means LCD is busy so that's why we are providing 1 0 and these are the 3 command which will end the which will after which we will end this program LCD STB is used for checking the uh, whether our LCD is busy or not then LCD stuff is taking the value of LCD stuff and LCD code LCD code is used for providing values for instructions uh, configuration or uh, or displaying then in lcd stuff we are saving the value in uh, the value of lcd stuff we uh, giving into the all the of a program like uh, lcd uh, register select uh, lcd uh, read and write and lcd data data pins which is 7654 and last one is lcd enable and so that's we are ending our program this is the final module you can see the whole program now i am going to show you the how it it will look in the fvga FVG kit so so we have uh, implemented our program onto the FPGA kit and as you can see uh, it is showing FPGA fever onto the LCD. This was only a part A of the LCD interfacing program that we took and uh, 
please wait for the next video uh, in which we will be taking some more um, things on LCD interfacing. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please provide some suggestions how can we and how we can improve our videos. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.